Midjourney just changed up how you organize your images with their new workspace feature. It's a bit different than what we're used to, so let me break it down. When you click on the Organize tab, you'll now find your folders up here in the top right, this little icon right there. When you click on that, it will show you all the folders you've made along with how many images are in that folder. That's pretty cool. And if we were to right click or just click on those three dots to the side, you'll get the option to download the entire folder. We can also rename the folder or move the folder into a new folder group. You can also delete the folder as well. The folder group is just a new way to organize your folders. It's turtles all the way down. You can click on the new folder group and name it whatever you like, and then you can build folders inside of that. You'll see that I created a group folder for my b-roll right here, and then I could go up to one of my other folders, I could right click on it, and I could move it to b-roll, or you can actually just click and drag it into the b-roll. Like, this is very smooth, very enjoyable process right here, especially considering the organization we've had so far. This is great. But then the other big thing you're going to want to know about is that you can actually create inside of folders now. Let's go to the create page. You'll notice that the folder icon is still here in the top right. So let's click on that. And then you know what? Let's make a new folder. And we can call this one Big Shiny Tunes 45. <laughs> what album are we on by now? And then now that it's created, let's click on it. And then when we try to write a prompt, you'll see that you're now generating inside of that folder. Why would you want to do this? Well, it just keeps everything in one spot. It's nice and tidy this way. This is great if you're working on certain projects, you'll always know how to easily find your images, where they will be. No more scrolling through thousands of pictures. So let's generate cover art for rock metal album a koala on a mission the album is called before i generate this i want you to leave a comment what would the album be called what is the name of this koala's big break i'm going with koalifications and then once i hit enter you'll see that we're now generating inside of that specific folder this is our new workspace okay <laughs> I kind of like that one. Again, you'll see this folder icon whenever you click on a picture and it'll tell you exactly where it came from or exactly where it's currently hiding. But I should clarify that even if you're generating inside of a folder, all of your pictures still show up on your regular create page. Like if we go up here to the top and click on this X, it'll bring us to our create page, no folder selected, and you'll still see the koalas right there. So you can either generate inside of a folder or you can still just pick any picture and put it in the folder. Like let's take this photo right here. You can right click on an image and then at the bottom you'll see add to and then you can select any folder you want and send it right there. Alternatively, you can click on the picture, click the folder icon and again send it to wherever you want. And now that is also living in Big Shiny Tunes 45. Now let me go through the save searches here on your organize page. Again, these used to be called smart folders and all it's going to do is let you type in some words and then it's going to find every time you've used that word in a prompt. So let's add a search. We'll call this one koala and then down here in search terms you can put as many as you want separate them with a comma. I'm just going to stick with a koala for now. Create save search and then here on the right again if I click on it it's going to find every time I've used koala in a prompt. Again I can right click on a picture and add it to one of my folders. But if you want to add more than one picture at a time to one of your folders here's what you have to do. Hold shift on your keyboard, drag and select multiple images, but then you can't right click. You actually have to go down here to the bottom and click on more. Then you will see the option to add to a folder. Now up here at the top, we'll click on the folder icon. We'll see that there are 15 images inside of the big shiny tunes and there they all are. While you're looking through your folders, you can also filter within the folder. So I could click on the liked rating and then only see the pictures that I've liked within that folder. It's a little confusing to wrap your head around and then I want to show you something else that is slightly confusing. So let's go to our create page and then you'll see a bunch of folders that I've created already. I mean, I've created these a long time ago. And then if I were to click on one of these on the create page, you're going to see stuff like this, where it's just one or two photos randomly appearing. This kind of threw me for a loop. I mean, I don't remember hiding this many pictures. So what's going on here? Well, the folder system acts a little differently on the create page versus the organization page. So if we go to the organize page, everything looks normal. These are just all the pictures I had. But when you go to the creation page, it's going to show you where all of those generations came from. 
So this right here, I added this to that folder, but here it's showing the grid that it came from. Like you can still click on these other pictures, even though they show up gray from this page. And then like maybe you change your mind and you can actually just add it to the folder here. So on the organize page, everything looks normal. On the create page, you're going to see every prompt that those pictures came from. I just needed to tell you about that because this kind of confused me for a little bit. So I guess the new workflow is create a folder, create a saved search, look through that saved search, and then manually add pictures to the folder. Something like that. And for the record, if you wanted to delete one of your save searches, you have to click on it again. Then you'll see the ellipses pop up. That's when you can delete the saved search or edit it, I guess, as well. The other workflow is for sure just generating inside of a folder and then maybe using the like button to manually organize it. Like We'll go to create, we're generating in here, and then let's start clicking some like buttons on our koalas. So then now when we go to the organize page, we can filter by liked and we'll see just the images we like that way. That's another workflow that you might want to try. And removing images from a folder works the same as the inverse of adding them. So again, we can right click, go down to the bottom and remove from, or you can select multiple at a time, maybe even multiple days, go down to more, and then remove from folder there. Or you can add them to another folder, of course. Let me know what you think about this update, if it's gonna help you a lot. I mean, I made over like 84,000 images, so this is gonna be mighty useful. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time. Peace.